Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so Sony came out with a new firmware update for our television, the Sony X930E. I think it's for other um TVs that I include the X1 chip, the X1 Extreme chip. Um, I'm not sure if it includes the the 900F, but all the ones that have the Extreme chip, this firmware works for it. So um. I, they sent it out the, um, the other day, but um, I'm too impatient, as you guys already know, so I decided to go ahead on Sony website and download it and install it. I haven't installed it on my TV yet, so we're going to walk through it together. I'm going to kind of show you guys what to do and how to get it on. It's going to be kind of a long video, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, so get ready for that. If... if Anything you need to know, you can write in the comment section. You do need a um a 3.0 um thumb drive or a, some kind of storage device that's 3.0. And um, I'm just gonna go through it real quick and show you guys how to do it. So I have my computer on. What we're gonna do is go to Safari if you have um iOS or Google if you have Android or whatever. So you're gonna go ahead and type is type in um latest Sony firmware update. Click that. It should be the first one right here. Go ahead and click that. Now you type in your model number. I have the X930E. We're gonna continue. It should pop up right here. I have a 65 version. And we continue. Now we're gonna scroll down here and this is the package right here so we're gonna go ahead and read what is included in this package and no it's not that infamous Dolby Vision and OPPO HDMI firmware update I wish it was but it's not this came out the 20th, the 20th of March so it's fairly new what it does it improves general performance of the TV. Um, improves performance when starting content from a PS4 Pro gaming console. Kind of excited to see how that will work. And improves performance of the Amazon Prime Video Play. But I think this might be the HDR for the um, internal app, Amazon app. Um, I don't use the apps on the TV because it might um, take up a lot of storage and bandwidth on my TV and I, and I want my TV running as fast as possible so I kind of stay away from internal apps I have my Roku for that so um it says benefits provided by previous updates and included in versions so if you guys haven't gotten the Dolby Vision yet for your um, update this would give it to you also this package it includes the Dolby Vision too so what you're going to do is on the side right here you're gonna click download now you're gonna read the agreements make sure you read all of this okay read every single word because you could be signing your life over to the devil so um accept the user agreements and this should pop up here at the bottom right here I already um downloaded it so let me see if I can cancel this I guess I can't cancel yeah cancel I already canceled it. Once it pops up, once it's done, you're gonna um back out of that and it's gonna pop up wherever you want it to pop up. So you're gonna go to the Windows and you're gonna go to well I have it in my um downloads and it should pop up right here. This this little thingy right here. And it's a zip file. So what you wanna do now is grab your I just plug that your USB make sure it's 3.0 you plug it in just like that and let's do it the other way go to start we go to computer and this should be it right here real quick I want to touch on this real quick make sure that um you click you right click it and you go to properties right make sure it says fat 32 if you have to format it you gotta format it 
make sure it says fat 32 okay that's this is very important make sure it says fat 32 so um now it the since your computer picked up the, the um the scan this I have it's a scan this I have so you guys could you know whatever name your thing is I have a scan this so um the file that I downloaded now I'm gonna go into downloads and I'm gonna click it right here and I'm gonna right click it's gonna say extract all so you're gonna click extract all I want it well we all want it to go to our storage um, device I was about to say storage unit <laughs> um, storage device which is mine's is right computer Sony update and okay so we're gonna extract it there so once it's extracted now make sure it says 1.57 gigabytes it's saying 17 minutes but I doubt if it's that long it'll probably readjust so when it's done I will show you guys what else to do be right back so real quick just touch on something real quick a lot of you guys were asking me how do I find this out how do I find that out how do I find if I have UC1 or UC2 how do I find out the package number how do I find out what firmware I have um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that now so you're going to go down to not settings you can go to settings but let's just go to where the root file is <laughs> as per se um as you can tell right there in the upper right hand side that's the version that you're running on currently which is package 6 2818.005a i mean 75 and double a and if you want to check your your software update and see if any is for your tv or if any came to your tv but you waited in a line you want to go to system update you can have this on auto, but I don't want to have it on auto. I want to know when the, when the um, update comes to my television. So you're going to click check for software update. Like I said, it hasn't reached my um my TV yet, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So you're going to click OK. If it, if, if it was an update, it would say install update, but obviously it didn't come to my TV yet. So um, that's basically it right there when it comes to that. Now, if you want to see what if you have a UC1 or a UC2 TV, you want to go inside settings. You want to go down to about. Let me try to focus. You want to go to about. Focus, come on. Sorry, I got an old old phone I'm sorry um go all the way down to build you should see where it says ATV2 underscore UC that refers to UC2 just turn it the other way around UC2 so this is a UC2 model so if you have this right here you're good to go if it's a UC1 you're gonna see ATV1 underscore UC and if you're from like Europe, it's gonna say EU. It's gonna say two underscore EU. Okay. So that's basically it. We'll come back when the um when it's done downloading. And for all you 930 30 owners out there, this is all the back piece that comes to it. You're gonna need one of these bad boys because it's very hard to get in the creases try not to damage the plates but you're gonna need one of these because unless you have really sharp fingertips fingernails I'm, I'm sorry you can get in the creases but you're gonna need one of these and there's like four of them four plates so this is the back of the TV where I took the plates off all of this was covered up this is my optical this basically brings the sound from the internal apps from the TV to my receiver 
I have two HDMIs. Of course, it's the monster ones. Um, the third one is for all my devices. The second one is for my my Oppo. And it's hardwired to the internet. And that's basically it. All everything else is covered up. So this is another angle on the back of the TV. In case you guys was curious of how it looks. There's no buttons or nothing on this side. It's all on that side. Which is right here. Three simple buttons. Let me just go off, go on and show you guys what's here, so you guys know what it is. What's here for you guys need to know. Got the components. That's basically all you need. So there's six minutes remaining, but for you guys, it probably took maybe um, three, four minutes to get to here from the 17 I was before. So it's not really that long of an update. I um, It is two gigabytes, so make sure your USB is at least uh, um, eight gigabytes. At least. If you have other stuff on it. So while we wait, let me just I never did something I never did this before, but I'm just gonna see how the games work <laughs> on the TV. So let's go into it. We have, we have about three minutes left on the download. So let's just click asphalt nitro and see how it works. Never done this before. So I don't even know how to operate operate it. No, you don't want to have access to my damn files. What? Get out of here, really? So I gave it access to my damn shit. Excuse my language. So now they know all my info. Press any button. So do I use the remote to play this thing? Huh? You press what? What? All right, let's just try it while we wait. Um, let's go to quick race. Hold on, let me turn on my receiver. My receiver is off. That's why there's no sound. Okay. Do you want to drive on the tutorial track? No. I'm a boss. Let's just do this real quick. Really? Can I just accept this crap, man? Holy shit. Okay, so now you know my gender and my birth and my age. God damn, why do I need so much info? play a damn game let's just go to next holy shit oh crap start race man jeez so we're just killing time right now instead of having the video pause let's just kill time and see how this works on this TV Okay, so you use left and right. I tried to make that jump, but I couldn't. So it's left and right, obviously, and up is nitro. And this is some 
Fast and Furious tricks. Looks clean though, I'm not gonna lie. Looks nice. Alright, let's get out of this. The update is done. Just wanted to see how this works. Okay, so now that it's downloaded right now, it's right here inside the um the um, storage unit. <laughs> Why keep saying storage unit? The storage device. Okay, the storage device. Now that it's just on your storage device, you're gonna back out of that, and close that out. Make sure it's in the root the root um folder. It's not in a folder, just make sure it's on the root page. So you're gonna exit out of that. Close that and you're gonna do it the right way and eject it. Remember, it's supposed to be on FAT32, okay? So what we're gonna do now is take out the memory card storage device and um put it in back of the TV. So now that it's plugged in and USB one focus, it automatically detects it and there you go. So it says 15 minutes, but I have a super fast internet, and I'm gonna pause the video and go back to it. So it's basically it's basically that simple. You just have to um, download the 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 software from off the website itself. Put it on a 3.0 USB. Make sure it's formatted for FAT32. You plug it in the computer. After you download the file, you plug it in the computer, and um, you unzip it because it comes as a zip file. So you unzip it into your storage device, not unit, storage device, and you um, that's it. Just let it go on the um, on the USB. Um. Take it out and then you plug it in back of the TV and it automatically detects it. So also when it downloads, this is a tip for a lot of people who run into error codes and TV looks washed out and TV doesn't look good at all. What you want to do after this happens, you want to restart. Not reset your, your TV, but restart your TV. Just restart your TV. So it's restarting right now. I mean, it's updating right now. I'm sorry. So we're going to let that update and come back to it. Just real quick while we wait. Can we just take a minute just to just suck this TV real quick? <laughs> I mean, just a little light. Cause it's on focus right now. Come on, focus up, focus, focus, focus. Sorry again, I have an old phone, man. Okay, there we go. If it would friggin' focus. So, we're halfway there. Um, turned off the lights. I had a small dim light here. Lamp. That's my um. That's my bias lighting. <laughs> the the dim light. I have a little negligee um little sheet over it to kind of dim it somewhere. It's kind of too bright for me. So I have it over there to your left. And it's basically it, man. I just, I just love the, the the blacks on this TV, man. You have to get real close to see like the blooming and stuff. The blooming on this TV, it it does it does a really good job, man, at handling the blooming. So come back when it's done. See if there's any improvements. They said there's a couple of improvements, but nothing really. 
like that stands out like that. So we just have to wait until it's done. Also, real quick, on this updating screen, the um, local dimming is working.